Okay, OG Gears, we're going to uh, try to shovel some of that uh, snow and ice out. Uh, this is the second day that it's been above freezing in a row. Uh, and of course, you know, the street department had plenty of time to come back and push this stuff back. I mean, it's been over a week since it snowed. Uh, <laughs> so they, they haven't they haven't done anything you know I mean you can tell it's, it's pretty far off the curve that they were what they what they did do whenever it did snow um quick my cars are parked here but they, they could have went by I mean they had what seven days since it snowed so they could have went by any time in the last seven days and just cut it back but whatever no big deal I mean I'm at work whenever they're out through the day uh, the woman's at work whenever they're out through the day yeah, and they just they don't they ain't done nothing so we're gonna take a shovel we're gonna try to push it back now it's supposed to be like 45 today and it's about 40 42 right now um, tomorrow it's supposed to be almost 60 so it's not like it's important but we're supposed to get a little bit of rain later today and I don't want that rain getting on that, making it a little bit slick, and having someone just tap the end of it and hit my car, or, or you know, I mean, not even so much that. I just don't want them to splash it on my car or anything else, and I just don't want it there. It just it looks horrible, and I'm going to get it away from my house. So we're going to try to find a place to put the camera so you can watch this one. Okay guys, I'm sure by now you can tell that's just a sheet of ice. Uh, I have a little bit of snow on top and a little bit of slush in between the snow and the ice. But uh, that, I don't care if it gets up to 60 or 80. That would not melt off in a day. Now, my idea here is, I took the top layer off which exposes the next layer, the ice, to the warmer temperatures instead of having the snow on top constantly keeping it cold, you know, uh, and insulating it from the heat, from the warmth. You know, this way, the rest of that will melt down a little bit more. I'll get in front of the van done and behind the trailblazer done same, in the same fashion. And by the time I get those two areas done, Similar to what I just did this section, this part should uh, should have melted up a little bit and make it easier to get some more of that out. So that's our whole idea here. We want to get most of this done before it rains, just because I don't want the extra water onto it. Uh, so we'll come back later and check in. Okay, OG Gears, it's been about an hour since I scraped that off a little bit ago. Um, wasn't going to take me that long, but uh, had to run to the store and get some bread and vanilla because I like to eat. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this again. Uh, we don't need a lot of melt to make it easier to come up. We just need a little bit of melt. 
and that's what we've got. Uh, it doesn't have to be 40 degrees outside for this to work. It can be 33 degrees. It don't matter. And if you put salt down, it can even be like 22 degrees. But uh, you don't want the salt in your yard anyway. So I'm going to hit this again. Try to clean this up a little bit more. You can see it's melted quite a bit. So uh, we'll, we'll get going with it. Okay, OG Jeers. I went ahead and got this done. You can see I got most of it cleaned off here between the cars. And there's a little bit in here underneath the tires. But I did go to the store earlier. And I got it all cleaned off behind my car up to the property line. And on the other side, cleaned off in front of the wife's car. I mean, there's a little bit underneath your car, but you know, I didn't feel like moving it. But I cleaned up to the property line. Nice, pretty straight line there. So, that's that. Um, and we do have certain members of the community that will say that uh, I get special privilege because of where I work. Uh, so that's why, that's why the, in front of my house is cleaned off now. Uh, <laughs> no, no special privilege because of where I work. Uh, I came out here with a shovel and I shoveled it. So I'm going to be nice to the neighbor because she's an older lady. I'm going to be nice and start working towards her uh, sidewalk because it, it was a little icy there this morning. I I'd cleaned it off a little bit this morning before she went to work or before she went to church rather. But I'm going to go ahead and try to clean off a little bit more for her just because it's a neighborly thing to do. Uh, it's been about two and a half hours total now. Uh, and that's not total time working, that's, that's just since I started. I did run to the store and get some bread and vanilla uh, flavoring and then went in and ate breakfast. So. I'm going to go ahead and start on this other side over here, get that done for the neighbor and call it a day. Uh, well, not really. I mean, I got other stuff I want to do, but we'll call it a day for this. Um, you know, the woman's been going crazy with the, the whole flu thing. Uh, hearing with that non-stop. It's non-stop. But, you know, we're going to go to Walmart here in a little bit and get her flu shots. So, better to be safe than sorry, I guess. You know, maybe we should have gotten them a couple months ago, but you know, six of one, half dozen of the other. And we'll see y'all later. Bye.